Hello guys, this is Seamancraft, and uh, apparently this uh, recording session of uh, Love of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, didn't quite go very well. Uh, basically, the wrong microphone was recorded. Uh, all that really happened as we, well, I say all that really happened, like not much happened. We explored around Rito Village and uh, started taking on the Divine Beast. Uh, uh, I'll show some clips of the highlights of what exactly happened, just so we aren't entirely lost. But, uh, other than that, we're pretty much just going to skip that sh session and make it to the next one, where we actually take on the Div Divine Beast and all that fun stuff. Uh, sorry about the inconvenience, and sorry it's been so long since these episodes went up. Just been a crazy couple weeks for me, but, uh, I hope you enjoy the video.
Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Keep it up. <sighs> 
It's on you. Well done, Link. That thing is history. Link. It looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I think... I think I need to get back to the flight range. I just hope that I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Good luck. It's all you. Well now, I've seen that face before. I had a feeling you would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. 
You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Okay, so quick, real quick, there was likely a uh, quick cut, oops, here, um, here's the deal. The, uh, video was starting to get a bit weird towards the end of my last session there, so I, uh, had to stop it prematurely, and now we're here mid-episode, and I forget exactly what I was doing, uh, it was in one of the wings, wasn't it? Maybe that way. Okay. And as I do remember, we were definitely doing something. Uh, I forget if I can make this jump or not. Uh, hopefully. Okay, cool. Was it in this side? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, so we had just opened this up. Cool. Again, sorry, but technical difficulties. <sighs> so smug. <laughs> okay, so, anything else in the swing? So we do have another further down the wing, so let's uh, see if we can do something with that. It seems we would likely have to get through this door here. Uh, so let's see about that. So we'll, uh... Changing the angle of the bird help at all. Or beast or whatever we want to use as a shorthand. Hmm. Now... That didn't seem to do much. Uh, what if I shoot these? Alright, that did absolutely nothing. Uh, it's probably, once again, uh, something to do with the angles, right? 
I mean, if if we allow this to go all the way down this track, where would that lead it? It would lead it here, and I'm not sure if that helps with anything, but I mean, we might as well try it, right? Okay. Here. There we go. Okay, so did that do anything for us? Oh. Saw my arrow. But now I don't see it. Oh well. Uh, now that hasn't really done anything of note for us. Uh, is there anything at all that it could do for us? I'm not really seeing anything. I mean, we could, of course, like, stasis it, but that doesn't seem very productive. And Magnesis isn't really yielding anything here either. And uh, we can walk in this window, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay. Well then, uh, we'll return to that at some point, then. And, uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, we should probably go towards the other wing. All of the, uh, terminals are in wings, which is interesting. And, of course, I believe that if we, uh, tilt the beast a bit, that will uh, aid us in getting over to the other side. Yeah, we will need to figure that out eventually, though. Okay, so, the door appears to be like, on the ceiling, which is likely less than convenient. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're moving you. Oh. Oh my, um. Didn't quite mean to do that, but uh, we'll make it work. Okay, so I want that. So what we'll do, we'll take this, bring it back this way. We will then rotate the beast, or not rotate, tilt the beast. And basically we want to climb up this ladder thing, right? So just try to get on that. Oh, okay. Not quite ideal. Also... We're cold now, because I forgot we are on a strict time limit here. We only have one more dish here, which will last us four minutes, which is definitely not going to be enough time to do this, is it? Um, also, we are down here now, which uh, might be a bad thing, or maybe not. Hmm. Oh, right, so we can just take this up. No problem. Okay, now you're the wrong way around. Gosh darn. What we could do is stasis, so that's what we will do. We'll get this up going that way, get stasis ready. Basically, we're just going to stasis this as soon as it starts tilting this way. There. Perfect. Now we can climb up this, no problem. And hopefully this was for more than just a chest. An ancient core, nice. Okay. A weird eyeball thing, not so nice. Okay. Alright, so what have we here? Well, first of all, I'm hearing, yep, another one of you. Hey, hey, stop attacking me. I'm just trying to, uh, kill the thing you spawned from. Okay, so we need to get up there, clearly. Um, what would be the best way to go about that? Maybe from this direction. Could we just glide from here, baby? And it's worth attempting, right? Surely. Close. 
Maybe if we really hit that angle. Right? Let's try again. Ready? If we really go for this lowest... Yeah, there we go. Psh. I'm not certain that's how you were meant to do that, but it worked. There are three terminals remaining. Keep going. Okay. What other terminals have we got to do on this side? Okay, they're both further down the wing. But we've got to open this somehow. Uh, maybe... Or could we? Can we just pass through? No. Okay, what if we do this? Or this? Well, that's some wind happening over there. And what all is that affecting exactly? Um... There appears to be a thing. What if we uh, tilted the beast back in this direction? Oh, ooh. Ooh, this is used for bombs. Hold on a second. Okay, clearly what needs to happen is we actually need to tilt it back this direction, right? Hey, get back here, bomb. Okay. Then we put the bomb in here. Let it roll through. Then it explodes. Perfect. And then now we rotate it, or... Tilt it back the other way. This isn't rotation, this is tilting. And maybe that will come this way, or... That's the switch, though, right? That's not, like, the big, giant pendulum thing. So it probably actually needs to happen is we need to turn it back this... Tilt it back this way. Put a bomb in. Then blow that up. Maybe. Or blow something else up, perhaps. Oh. Okay. So now we've got this giant metal ball. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to t tilt it back this direction, get the ball to come over here, and I bet we'll be able to magnesis it through this thing, right? Then we'll take it over here, right, right? And then... Oh, man, it's cold now. Alright, I just want to do this thing first, okay? There we go. Put this here. You tilt back. Okay, come on, just take the cold for a little while longer, Link. There we go. Hit that. Come on. Nice, okay, hopefully that stays saved like that. Alright, um... Because we gotta get out of here. Woo! Oh, is that not a legal method of getting out of these things? Should be. Okay, can we just, uh... How do we get out of one of these? Leave area? Yeah, leave this area. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, we're going to need some better, uh, clothing for this, aren't we? <sighs> yeah, this is not a scorching climate. <laughs> Far from it. Far from it. So, uh, I think they sell some better winter clothing here at the shop. In Rito Village. So... Oh, this brings us back to flight range. <sighs> Alright, you know we're fast traveling? Because we don't have time to just wander around randomly. We're in the middle of fighting a divine beast. <clears throat> hmm. Because <sighs> I think they sell some better holds equipment here. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not absurdly abs expensive. Huh. 
Okay. Alright, where is your clothing store? Did I move these? No, I think it's further down. Look at all these fabrics. Clear of the clothing store, right? No, this is the inn. Which you might actually stop at before we go back out into the world. You're not clothing. You are clothing. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we got the headdress, which gives some cold resistance. And so here's my thoughts. I say maybe we go for the headdress first, right? It is the most expensive piece, I think. Yeah, by far. But, the thing is, we might be able to wear the headdress in conjunction with our already existing doublets to get the cold bonus. To get the cold resistance up to where we need it. And the reason we wouldn't want to get pants is that way we can still wear snow boots while also having maximum cold resistance. So, yeah. Headdress. Okay. So, if we... There we go. So, we should have... Am I really wearing it? That is very minimalist. It's weird seeing Link's hair again. Okay, and this, sh I think, should be enough cold resistance. Alright. Uh, we'll also stop by the inn before we go back. Because it'll be good to get everything back to full. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. Here, how about a Rito down bed? Uh, let's sleep until morning. Okay. Good evening. Good morning, did you sleep well in the Rito down bed? Alright, take care. Alright guys, so that's the, the end of this episode. Next episode we should hopefully maybe be able to finish off taking on the Divine Beast. But until then, I've been Simicraft and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.